Do you think this audio sounds weird? Randomizer. Okay. In this video, I just want to show you a few presets, and these are going to be chosen. Okay, so as you can tell, my voice is transposed higher. And in this video, I'm going to show you maybe why that's happened to you and, and exactly why it happened to me. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this session here was set up at 48K. For some reason, the 11 rack didn't switch over to 48K, and it was actually recording my microphone in 44.1. Now, it took me a while to figure that out because the session actually played back fine in Pro Tools, but once the audio was bounced out, then we heard, you know, this kind of voice. Randomizer. Okay. In this video, I just want to show you... Which is not, you know, not very great at all. It's not how I sound. At least I hope that's not how I sound. Now, why was Pro Tools playing this back correctly? I'm not exactly sure. However, the first thing you need to do if you run into this problem where what you're bouncing out... in I was bouncing out at 48K. The session was 48K. It was supposed to be recorded at 48K. Bouncing out at 48K, but still, after it was bounced out, the file played with the transposed audio. So the very first thing you need to do if this happens to you is trash your preferences or preferences and databases. After that, we can fix this audio very, very easily. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We'll simply come up here to File, and we'll go to Import Audio. And what I want to do is go to my session folder, this very session that I'm in. And I want to go to the audio files, because the audio files are actually recorded wrong. So I need to re-import my audio files. And this file here is called Voice2, so that's one that I want to import. And I also want to import the strobe audio to left and right. And real quick, if I just click on this audio file, you'll see it says it's recorded at 48, but it's not. For some reason, Pro Tools messed that up. Something was wrong with the driver at the time. I don't know exactly what happened, but I do know the audio is wrong. So even though it says 48, it's not. We're going to go ahead and select these other two files now, and then we'll click Copy Files. Not Add, but Copy. After we copied these files, we'll go to Apply SRC. Now I know for a fact these were recorded 44.1 even though it says 48. Depending on what the source sample rate actually was, it may be different for you or what files were sent to you, okay? So in my case, I know it was 44.1 even though it reports as 48. So what we'll do now is after we apply the SRC, we make sure that we make sure the source sample rate is 44.1, destination is 48. That's because that's what our session is. We want the quality to be the highest, so just leave it there on the slowest and click done. Now we'll just use the current folder. Now it's going to process the audio and import it. Now the audio has been processed and we can choose a new track or clip list. I'll do a new track because I want them in my session here. I'll go ahead and pull my voice track up here. Okay, let me make sure this is up here. All right, now we'll solo the original voice track. Randomizer, okay. In this video, I just wanna show you a few presets and these are- Okay, so. Again, even though it was recorded at 48, or it said it was, I know for a fact it actually wasn't. There was an error, and it was recorded at 44.1. So now, if we solo this track here, the one that we just processed at 44.1 and moved 48, now let's listen to it. Age of the transmod system, or things like that, like the awesome randomizer. Okay, in this video, I just want to... So now the audio is correct, and it sounds great. It, there's no clicks or pops, nothing's wrong with it. It sounds correct, and it's playing back at the correct speed. You can see that the track that we processed here is a little bit longer, okay, because this one here, our other one is being sped up, and that's why we're getting that transposed sound, okay? So if this happens to you, if somebody sends you audio files that tell you, they tell you they're one thing and they're in your session, and maybe a 48 session and they're 441, and you're getting a chipmunk sound playback, or you record with your audio interface and maybe you forgot to change it to the correct sample rate or whatever, and you play back in Pro Tools, maybe it sounds good in Pro Tools, but once you get and bounce the file out, and then you hear that chipmunk sound, once again, the first thing you will want to do is trash those preferences. After you trash those preferences, then you can come to your file and import your audio just as we did a minute ago there, and choose the correct sample rate for your source, and, and let that pull it to the correct sample rate for your session. And then everything should play back correctly. So once again, this is the incorrect arpeggiated bass uh, chord keys, so on. And this is the correct. Again, I'm just going to choose these at random, play a few keys on my... Okay, so there's a little tip for you when you're running in Pro Tools. If you're getting the chipmunk sound, first thing to do is trash those preps and then make sure your source sample rate is set correct for your session sample rate. And you can import that audio and change it there with that SRC.